Welcome back to another quick segment about MixOS. And I have a couple of times spoken about the three different ways or different ways of installing software in MixOS. And if you read online, there's quite a lot of confusion, understandably, on what is the difference between Nix environment, Nix service configuration, and Nix shell. Right. So I'm going to try to explain this as simple as possible, or at least as how I kind of understand it. So one of the advantages, of course, with NixOS is you can, you know, configure your system all from one file and you can move it to a different system. You can have, you can configure it that you have different versions of software. So what I mean is you can have so if your software coming from a unstable resource, you can have the rest coming from a stable resource. You can have multiple versions of the same software installed in your machine, etc. Now, in short, if you install software like this using the next ENB, so literally you go here, you search next ENB and you install software like this. What that basically is, it's, it's, would be the equivalent in another distro like Ubuntu going to do apt get install, right? So basically what happens is the application gets downloaded, gets installed on your machine, like a normal traditional package and that's it, right? If you need to reload your machine, you'll see in this case or whatever software you're going to use, it's not going to be there, right? because of the way you've installed it. Uh, if you need to update it, you're going to have to run a special command and an XENV. If you go into a rebuild of the NixOS configuration, it's not going to update anything you installed here using the NixENV. If I go and uh, install again, you'll see here you're using this method and I go check my NixOS configuration. It doesn't adjust the NixOS configuration file at all. So I go check this NixOS configuration file run another machine, VLC is not going to be there. So this is literally software you don't want to run on your machine. You don't want it to necessarily become permanent uh, in the sense of being uh, moving it to a different machine or configuration. Uh, you're going to handle this like any other piece of software uh, from a traditional package manager. This is uh, what this is going to be. So you can kind of think of this like sudo apt get. Uh, the NixOS configuration, of course, we've been through this a couple of times, uh, where we add the system to the environment system packages. And of course, you take this configuration file onto another machine, we rebuild, that's going to have VLC there. It's going to install the software. If we need to revert back our configuration change, the software is going to be there, right? Nick shell. Uh, Glyphos are made for development purposes, but these days, one of the uses of Nixel like this is if you want to try out a piece of software, but you don't want to install it permanently. So literally, let's say you, in this case, you're not too sure about VLC and you just want to check it out, as it were, you can then just run this. It's going to uh, download the required files. It will load VLC. Once you close it, and if you were to go to another garbage uh, cleanup, the LC is gone. So if you want to pull permanent, you're going to either have to use Nix CNB or Nix service configuration. Right. My recommendation is if you want it uh, to have the main advantages and you want to keep the application, use Nix OS configuration. If you just want to try something else, use Nix shell. That would definitely be uh, my uh, recommendation here. So yeah, that's basically the really high level difference uh, on these. So if you have questions, leave them below or comments, leave them below. As always, thank you for watching.